Hello, um, today we're going to talk about road tool. Um, first, I the road tool, you know, um, there's quite a bit options, but really, I I just use the first one, the poly. Uh, this is the best one for now. Um, I usually start with the top view. Um, let me just hand cancel the arrow first. So, you know, I can just draw whatever roads I will have to do, you know, you can add curves on it. So like this. So they will ask you some questions. Um you want to create grid limit for site model. Um and uh, you can show stations too and click OK. Once you do that, see they will have stations as all that. Um and then let if you go to the 3D view, you'll see it's underneath it's underneath the topography. Um, what you do, you just right click and uh, it sent to service. Then what they will do, they will have like they have roads that follow the topography, which is quite cool. You wanna um, make sure the roads have have stations uh, here I say stations if I click OK um, I will have more stations see this kind of uh, you know segments those are all stations okay since um, I already sent the sta stations to service um, but the next thing I want to align stations vertically what this do is they will tell you the grade see here actually it's from uh, Station at number one to all the way to number thirteen. Okay, um, there is a grade of zero point two. Um, that's basically how they tell you the grade, and you can you can kind of control the grade too. If the grade is too much, you can raise up the start and end, and just change things. Okay, for example, this right now is uh, negative two point nine. If for example, if I um, see this is the top, say I um, go so I go to the station and um, stations. See these points. If I make a little bit, let's say a little bit higher, 100.8 inch. So it's nine feet, and then I come back again. Align stations vertically and click OK. See, it's the grade become negative 3.31. Okay, if you click OK, what they will do is see they will automatically um, align those grades. See, it's a super smooth. What the align do is they will do a smooth grade, you know, go either go down or go up. Okay, you can also change the uh, in the middle and you just change the specific stations you want to do for example um, I want to start from here to here I want to become steeper then you go to um, a light stations but this point you want to start maybe start with station 5 see just here to here okay so this is negative 3 so from station 5 um, I can go ahead and change station 5 Say station five. Right now, um, let's say station five. Let me change them to so it's sixty inch. So yeah, it's somewhere here. See somewhere here. So I make this lower. And then I can go back to align. So this time is from number one to five. So it's from here to here. Um, and click OK. So this becomes steeper. See here? This becomes steeper. They what I did is I make sure this slope is smooth and equal. Okay. That's basically what I mean. Um it's the best tool, just use this. Um then um after we figure out how the uh, road goes, it can be pass or anything else. Uh, and what you do, you just um, you know, click the 
topography and update you show the proposed then see here they will you know cut things for us okay pretty cool um, and you can if you don't like what's the um, what's besides of it you can change you know uh, this site model you have to go to the road you can change the um, grid limit see here I can make like six like five feet and then and then I can update again see it become a little bit more gentle okay um, the, I mean the side slope okay so that's this it's good enough um, the other thing we talk about is rail for example I I usually you know it's pretty straightforward it, and then you just draw lines and then they will have the fence for it okay made for you but the issue is all these fins are in us flat okay they don't follow the, top, the topography um, if you do the 3d one you can only do that do that segment by segment and it's not working really well too um, see it's not working really well too so and a lot of times they will they won't follow the topography that's the issue okay uh, which I don't like I want to show you you can actually use copy see this nerve you can just draw lines see here you just draw lines along the topography so you will have a nerve see you will have a nerve that's 3d and a follow the topography um, and then you can insert see insert um, any kind of uh, symbol you want if you need a post you just search post so they will have a lot of post let's say I, I like um, this one or some good ones like oh like lights see this one click select um, and then I can just put put this on here and then I have it here okay and then what you do is you can use the um, edit and uh, actually you want to select both of them and you go to edit and um, you can duplicate alone pass okay that's what I want to show you you could make sure so they will automatically duplicate those for you okay see that's what I mean um, it's really cool um, and you I thought it just works for shapes but actually it works for symbols so uh, that's a good thing that uh, for us okay uh, thank you